Hi guys, so let's now take a look at the net profit margin. Okay, so the net profit margin helps us to understand the overall profit made by the business after all expenses have been paid. Okay, now of course it's represented as a percentage, so that means it tells you per pound of income or per hundred pounds of income how much net profit is actually returned. So that could be, say, for instance, 3%, it could be 4%. Uh, in this case, you can see that I've got net profit divided by revenue multiplied by 100, and we can see that we've got 15,000 pounds of net profit made by this business in this period and a hundred thousand pounds of revenue sales income coming into the business when you multiply that by a hundred you get fifteen percent okay now again as with all of these ratios they are useless on their own you need to be able to compare them between firms um, now between firms or between different trading periods of course so you can compare by looking at other competitors and see how they're performing but you need to actually consider previous periods so if we just look at the previous period here we can see they were making a 20% net profit margin now they're only making 15% so what's going on well if we just look at the actual breakdown for the net profit calculation itself we can see net profit equals the gross profit minus the expenses. So it's quite likely, uh, and this is really where net profit is so useful, that net profit really enables you to focus on how much of your overall uh, income is going to actually pay for your indirect costs or expenses there, okay? So that really shows us that what's likely to have taken place here is a rise in expenses if uh, the gross profit has remained relatively consistent at say, perhaps 40 or 50% in each period, okay? And then we have ended up with two very different ratios. What does that tell us? It tells us expenses are likely to have risen. Okay, right, so what can we do about this? How can we improve net profit margin? Well, the most obvious way is to, of course, reduce this. If you can reduce this, then that is going to enable you uh, to increase this margin as, a, as an overall. Um, so that's important. So you can see I've said reduce expenses and there could be examples that you can identify perhaps in uh, the question you get on this. Um, and really this is about operating more efficiently. So if you're a seasonal business, obviously you want to uh, make sure that you cut staff hours when you're in lower, lower demand periods, okay? So off season and so on, okay? Um, so about operating more efficiently. Secondly, the alternative is that you look to in, uh, reduce your cost of sales. And of course that would increase your gross profit, okay? Uh, but it, if your gross profit remains consistent from different periods and it's only the net profit that has actually really changed, it clearly tells you the problem is expenses. Okay, there we go, guys. Hope that was good. Thanks.